Welcome again to Tweet of the Week. I am very happy to introduce Tracy Franklin, our principal of Walkersville High School, and those of you who follow her on Twitter know her as the Alpha Lion. Um, Tracy, thanks so much for joining us today. You are a prolific tweeter. I am. <laughs> But it's a great way to share exciting things that are happening at your school. And I know that you are very aware of the fact that you have community members following you, students following you, mm -hmm. and they really seem to enjoy the tweets that you send. They do. I, I'll be honest with you. I am not a social media guru at all. My admin team a year and a half ago had to convince me to start this because I, you know, I don't like being quite that exposed to kids. It's understandable. But when I took the leap of faith and saw just how positively it was received and especially the relationships that have been built with our students and our community, how many kids just immediately gravitated to it. I've had so much fun with it. Um, I have enjoyed it. I, they, now it's just the running joke. They expect me to be doing it at every school event. And if I don't do it, I hear comments about it. So, you know, I've had a tremendous tremendous amount of fun with it. I would recommend it to any school system leader to do it because you're exactly right. There are parents and kids out there just waiting to see what's happening at their schools and if their kids are involved. Absolutely. And, and I even yeah. encouraged our new teachers to think about it because when we talk about being positive ambassadors for the school system, it's a great avenue for doing that. Yeah. So it was hard for you to pick, <laughs> um, but I know that the tweet you are focusing on has something to do with a group that sometimes doesn't get as much recognition as others. Very true. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I'm very athletically supportive. That's supportive. That's a part of my background. Um, and so the first day and the first week of um, athletic tryouts last week with the secondary schools, um, you know, I'm out there meandering around and taking pictures of all of our athletic teams. Well, Saturday morning and, you know, in that um, really horrific heat that we had this past weekend. Um, one of the things that really took note to me was here was a group of young ladies that technically do not have to be out there. I mean, they start August 10th like everybody else, but this was on their own time and this was our varsity and junior varsity cheerleading squads. And they're out there as early as eight o'clock in the morning. And um, to my knowledge, they didn't finish until seven or eight hours later. These young ladies in that heat um, worked diligently for seven hours to prepare our stadium in spirit and color and pride. They didn't want to wait till the home, first home soccer game or first home football game to have it ready. They wanted it ready when kids came to school on Monday. And I thought that is a really awesome gesture by a group that's doing it selflessly for other teams. And, and it was very well noted in the community through Twitter. So not only their athletic performance as cheerleaders, but taking to heart that, you know, inspiring school spirit and what a way to do it. Now, did I hear correctly that they actually painted many of the cups that were going through the fence to? Yeah, it's it's amazing process to watch. I've been to other schools where you can buy them you know, prefabricated. You can buy them pre-made and just pop them on the fence. But these girls, they start pure white and they they make the design and put them in and then they paint them. And so it's a, it's a pretty strategic process and, and in some cases it takes a long time and they're pretty dirty by the time it's said and done. But one parent retweeted and sent a quote right directly to me. I'm assuming she has a history or a background in cheerleading. She said, Alpha Lion, you have no idea how hard this is. And, um, you know, thinking about it, it it's pretty tedious when, and because they did a design of a lion and a W and a football and lots of words around the stadium. I'm interested to ask, I want to ask one of the girls on Monday, how many total cups they used by the time it was done. <laughs> yes, and I'll have to make sure that, you know, the next time I'm heading out to Walkersville or the Staff Development Center that I come over and check it out. Yeah. So, well, Thank you for being a very positive ambassador for the school system, in addition to all that you do as the principal of Walkersville High School. And thank you for giving a shout out to our cheerleaders for sharing that school spirit and the fact that they wanted that for their school community from day one really is a testament to that, as the students often tell me, that community at Walkersville is like a big family. So are. thank yeah. you, Tracy. No, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Hope you will join us again for Tweet of the Week. Keep on sending out those tweets, and if you have a tweet that you'd like to share with me, let our communications team know. We'd be glad to have you join us on the show.